Good morning, or good afternoon, or good night. This is not The Truman Show. (laughs) Hi, I'm Elaine Marilakos Edelson with Astrology Mojo, and I hope you're feeling great and happy to be alive. Today we're going to be talking about, and not just talking about, but actually participating, I'm hoping you're going to participate, in EFT, also known as Emotional Freedom Technique, But first, a couple of housekeeping tips. Remember that to hear this, you need to turn up the volume on your computer or your device. And you can also catch my replays that I've done in the past several weeks. And I hope that you enjoy those. Uh, I've gotten some emails where people were asking more about astrology. So I will be back on Friday. I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the karmic planets And now that Saturn will be going direct on September 6th. And what that means for people, remember folks, what I tell everyone, all my clients, all my friends, and in every Facebook Live, the planets don't make you do anything. You live in a cooperation with the cosmos. When you make a move, it's reflected in the heavens. When the planets make a move, you feel it. And so that's why it's called a cooperation. So... Ah, it's great to uh, be organized. Today I worked out. (laughs) I'm not always that organized on my desk. I have lots going on, so I keep piles. But um, today I worked out. I've been doing a beach body workout with, uh, it's been six, today's the sixth day, and uh, feeling good, more energized, and it's really good. And my coach, Sean, is awesome, helping me out to stay focused. So as I work my body, and the reason I'm talking about this is because when we talk about Saturn on Friday at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, I'll be back on Friday, August 31st, the end of August already? Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about Saturn, as I said, and Saturn is all about setting up your structure. And the retrogrades help you to move into that place inside where you want to change something, uh, reframe something. And so with the Saturn going direct on September 6th, I'm going to start seeing results. I'm hoping before then, but uh, because especially I am a, um, a Capricorn rising and my entire world is guided by Saturn. Again, remember, the planets aren't doing it to me. It's a definition of sorts of how things are playing out. Okay, so join me on Friday, August 31st at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern, and we'll be talking more about how you're setting your structure and what to do to move forward. All right, so, <sighs> hey, my husband's here. Hi, Dean. I'm going to pull a, a, um, a universal card for everyone today on this beautiful day here in Sedona. It is finally getting cooler. And got my cards, okay. All right, here's the card for the day. Perpetual transformation, what a cool card. Whoopsie, perpetual transformation. And that's what we are always in, right? We're always in some sort of perpetual transformation and always retooling, tweaking, framing, sometimes letting things go completely and other times moving into that place of, you know what, I'm on a course, I'm in the flow and I'm going to keep with it. And that's what emotional freedom technique is all about. Let me show you, uh, if you're not familiar, first of all, before I even go there, uh, if you're not familiar with, and I'm going to take my glasses off when I start doing the examples uh, of how to do emotional freedom technique, if you're not familiar with EFT, it was developed by Gary Craig, who was a, actually an engineer, and then uh, he became an ordained minister. Back in uh, 1995, he developed this with an acupuncturist, and he was looking for a way to... to hi, Sasha. Welcome. Happy Wednesday to you, too. Um, Gary Craig was looking for a way to, to utilize all of the acu- acupuncture and acupressure points in the body... Uh, which there's hundreds, my gosh, there's so many, Um, and encapsulate them into one organized protocol called a sequence. And 
he developed and he worked with an acupuncturist and he developed this system called that he called emotional freedom technique. Now there's a lot of people out there in the world doing emotional freedom technique and uh, it began as a full sequence and now there are what we call shortcuts and I've been doing it for about 12 years now and I, I think it's, hi Therese, I think it's amazing. I love how it works for me and when the basics is you make a question mark on your face and I'll show you the tapping points in just a moment. But the whole point of emotional freedom technique is to focus on an issue. You can start with one, but what happens is in your subconscious, as you start tapping, what happens is your subconscious opens up and the real issues come out. That's what we want, right? So as you tap on the negative, you have a, a, um, a phrase and there is in part of the protocol there is a phrase so let's say for example you have a pain in your foot and you might start with and I'll show you the protocol in just a sec but you might start with even though I have a pain in my foot I deeply and completely love and accept myself and that's the setup <laughs> Teresa's hi Hi, Elaine. Hi, Dean. So the setup is naming what the pain is. And it can be a physical pain. It can be an emotional pain. It can be an anger, frustration. Um, I've tapped on everything, even though I'm frustrated with my husband when he interrupts me, you know, and I'll keep tapping until I finally get to the point where the real issue echoes in my head. And I'll hear, even though I don't have boundaries, Oh, even though I don't want to hurt his feelings by saying no. Oh, you see? So uh, with emotional freedom technique, you'll be able to utilize it for anything at any time. I don't recommend it while driving. <laughs> I've seen people actually in my town, people try everything, right, in Sedota. And I remember <laughs> I was at a crossroads in my town and I saw a local chiropractor who practices EFT and teaches EFT. <laughs> and I saw her driving and tapping at the same time. I thought it was very funny. Oh, welcome to Sedona. So, uh, okay, let me show you an image of what EFT looks like. And each of the points, oh, this is where I'm gonna take off my glasses and move my voluminous hair. Each of the points that we're going to tap on today reflects a different part of the body in acupuncture as in um, the governing vessel or the bladder point, the stomach point, um, conception point, the lungs, the, the spleen, the kidneys, the liver. So it covers the gamut, you know, that's, it just covers your entire body and it's a really cool technique. So with the phrase, and I'll give you the phrase again, and we're going to do it in a more formalized way, but like in a workout, I'm just going to demonstrate with my hair moving everywhere. I'm just gonna demonstrate how it, it starts. And you have the phrase in your head and you can write it down on a piece of paper. When I first started doing EFT, I would write down my phrases so that I would read them. And that's all I would do. So we can start with, um, even though, oh, and we start with the karate chop point on the hand. And it's, you can do four fingers, two fingers, three fingers, it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter which side. You can tap on the right side, on the left side. You can switch sides. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to lower this so you can see the whole picture. Okay. So we're going to start with a karate chop point and by speaking the, uh, the issue phrase. So even though I'm feeling sore today from my workout, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even And it's three times. Even though I'm feeling sore today from my workout, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I'm feeling sore today from my workout, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. That's the beginning of the protocol. And then you move to what's called the bladder point. So it's the bladder point. And then you would tap seven times. And you can shorten the phrase. You don't have to say the whole thing. And then it comes down to, I shorten the phrase to, my body's sore. I'm sore. I'm sore. My back is sore. My body's sore. I'm sore. And then under the arm, I'm sore in the top of the head. I'm sore. So there's a whole uh, completion of energy. And this just keeps going. You keep tapping on this issue over and over and over again. So you might want to pick an issue that you have in your life. Um, I'm frustrated. I'm sad. I feel like a victim. 
um, I'm angry, I feel resentful, whatever issue that you have that's recurring, especially the ones that are recurring, you can tap on these issues daily throughout the day, any time of the day, especially when they come up, because the moment that something arises in your body or you, in your aura, in your field, and you have this, you know, angst, or I'm really nervous, I have a job interview on Tuesday. So even though I'm really nervous, you can use your knuckles or your fingers, even though I'm really nervous, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And you do that three times. You state the issue three times in present tense, even though I'm really nervous, even though I'm very upset, even though I'm confused, even though I feel lost, even though I'm anxious, even though I'm angry, you know, whatever the issue is, even though, state the issue, even though I'm blah, 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 I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And you do that three times. And then you start at the beginning of the eyebrow, at the end of the eyebrow on the temple, under the eye, under the nose called the philtrum under the lip, above the chin, right here, and then right below the clavicle on either side, right below, you're going to be tapping seven times, and then under the arm seven times, and then the top of the head seven times. And then you repeat the cycle. So let me show you an image that I created so that you can actually see more of what it's about. So you start with the karate chop hand uh, on either hand, and then you move to number two, and that would be at the front of the eyebrow. Number three is the side of the eyebrow. Number four is under the eye. Number five is the philtrum under the lip above the chin, and then, uh, which is the upper chin. And then the, under the clavicle, right under the bone, and then under the arm, and then number nine, the top of the head. And as I said, either side of tapping is fine. You can start with one side, you know, even though I'm feeling kind of confused, uh, I deeply and completely, you know, it's like even though this, this, this pain, this pain, this pain, this pain this pain, this issue, you know, and then you can start on the other side, this issue, this issue, this issue, this issue, this pain, this pain, you can do either side, this pain, this issue, this pain, you see, so it doesn't matter which side you go and you don't have to tap really hard. It doesn't have to be a very uh, painful experience. <laughs> it's very simple. Has anyone here uh, experienced EFT? Has anyone, while well, I take a sip of my decaf coffee, has anyone done EFT for any length of time? And what's been your experience? Just let me know in the comment section. I remember first starting EFT, I did it 50 times a day. <laughs> I did it on everything, on physical pain, on emotional pain, on feeling upset, on uh, oh, okay. So Sasha, you've never done this. You're going to love it. So, uh, pick a couple of issues that have been recurring for you. Maybe you've been feeling uh, a little upset or maybe it's about confused about an issue with a relative or a friend, you know, you can involve other people, but eventually by way of saying, even though I'm really frustrated with Sally, or even though I'm so hurt by Jane, even though I'm angry with Tim, you know, whatever it is, you can bring other people into the, the conversation of your emotional freedom technique. But what happens eventually is as you condense it, it's going to be about your pain. It's going to be about your issue. It's going to be about your feelings and emotions. And the whole point of actually doing EFT is to mitigate the issue, what you're doing with acupuncture points is you're neutralizing the electrical charge that continues the same tape, the same chatter, the same negative spiral. And so in the beginning of, you know, doing EFT and Teresa's done it. So in the beginning of doing it, as you write down a phrase or a sentence that you might have, uh, as in, even though I'm so fill in the blank, 
I deeply and completely love and accept myself and then rate it as in pain uh, on a scale of one to five on a scale of, oh, and see, you did. You went with Gary Craig. I, I studied with him online uh, and through DVDs. So, so it's a great experience to do this process. And so when you, when you have your phrase, I want you to rate the pain. Is it on a scale of one to five, five being the most? I'm so angry at a number, and you feel it out and say, yeah, at a number 10. <laughs> so then you know you have to bring down the, the electrical charge uh, on all of your acupressure and acupuncture points. And by doing this technique, you will lower it. So you have your phrase, you rate your pain at a number, one through five, one, uh, one being the lowest five, or zero, and five being the highest. And then as you begin the process and you do a couple of rounds of the protocol, then you can rate your pain again and see if it's come down. See if you've changed your feelings or your energy or new thoughts come up. And that's when you can journal on, oh, wow, you know, I, I was angry about this thing. But now what I'm really realizing after several rounds of the EFT protocol is that I'm feeling wounded. Uh, I wasn't aware of that. So it brings up your awareness. It mitigates and neutralizes the intensity of a negative experience. And it can work, absolutely can work on physical pain. I've done it for headaches. I've done it for uh, when I, I hurt my, um, I had plantar fasciitis. And I was working with laser with a doctor and massaging and doing exercises. But I would also do EFT, emotional freedom technique, and it helped to lower the intensity of the pain. And I would have to do it a little bit more in the beginning because it was, uh, it was pretty painful. So let's go through a round. I'm going to show you the image one more time so you can see where exactly the points are once we do the karate chop. And it could be either hand, whichever, and you state your phrase. So why don't you write down a phrase right now, even though... I feel this, or I have this pain, I deeply and completely accept myself. And then you want to rate it. Well, at what, what level is it? At a three, it's not so bad. At a 10, I can't stand it. <laughs> uh, you know, so we're going to, oh, and you're welcome, Sasha. I'm happy to help. We want to get to help you to get your mojo back, right? So we're going to do this exercise now, so I want you to take a, a minute and write down an issue that you might have, and, and then we're going to get going. Now, I'm not going to go through too much of what the points uh, are equal to. There's bladder, gallbladder, governing vessel, conception vessel, there's the lung, the spleen, the kidneys, uh, and the liver, so... It covers the whole range of stuff in your body, and it's pretty cool. So I'm going to keep my glasses off for this so you can actually see. Okay. Yes. Sasha wants her mojo back. Avra Kadavra. I create as I speak. Sasha, you have your mojo back. <laughs> okay. So if you have an issue now, let's begin the process. And it's very simple. Oh, let me show you the, the image one more time. Okay. So you start with the hand, karate chop hand while you're stating the issue tapping three times and I'll do it with you we don't have to start yet and then you go to the front of the eyebrow then the end of the eyebrow which is the temple under the eye the philtrum under the nose above the lip and then the upper chin under the lip and then the clavicle right underneath the bone and then under your arm and then the top of the head so that's going to be the protocol and so let me just move my bangs I have fuzzy hair today going for a haircut soon. Okay, so let's just say we have an issue, okay? And I'm going to go this side. Even though I feel blank, I have this issue, even though I have this pain, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. So do it with me. Even though, three times, I have this pain issue, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I have this issue, pain, I deeply love and completely accept myself. Okay, that's three times. Now you get the energy flowing. Now we start at the temple. I have this pain. This pain. Seven times we're tapping. This issue. And you're naming your issue, not just saying this issue. It's, I'm frustrated. 
I feel lost. I feel abandoned. Under the arm, I feel lost. I feel abandoned. And you can switch up the phrases. You can use different words and then come back to it. And we go again. I'll do it on this side. I have this issue. I'm frustrated. I feel lost. Abandoned. I'm frustrated. I'm angry. Oh, let me move my hair. Under the um, collarbone. Seven times. This issue. I feel lost or abandoned. Top of the head. I feel lost, abandoned. Issue. And then we end with, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Always at the top of the head when you're done with your protocol. Now, I recommend doing this protocol um, at least three or four times and then rate your pain at that point. Now, how do you feel? Do you feel better? Do you feel less intense with this issue? Uh, that's exactly where you want to go with emotional freedom technique. And that's just a very simple technique that you can use. You can come back to this video uh, on my page and you can tap along and just keep going. And then eventually what I've learned to do is I have an entire conversation. So this will be the second version of it. So when you're ready and you're familiar with doing tapping, then I actually have a whole, I call it the, uh, the conversation. And so I'll start with, you know, even though I'm really upset about blah, 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 and I can't believe they did this, and I'm so frustrated with that, blah, 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 I deeply and completely love and accept myself, and then I just start talking. Uh, you know, I gave my all. I did the thing. Um, I was trying really hard. It wasn't working, and they never called me back, and I'm, I'm really upset about that, and blah, blah, and I'll do that for about a minute, and then I go into the tapping. Hi, Sage. Hi, Becca. Oh, I'm so glad you feel better. I'm so glad. So just keep going with it. In fact, we could do another round. So pick the same issue. I want you to rate it now. Rate your pain. Is it on a scale of one to five? And it can be a 20, <laughs> but we're just going to use one through five. Where is the pain? Where's the frustration? Where's the level of angst or anxiety? And you're going to be hitting, if you've just joined us, you're going to be hitting all different parts of your acupressure and acupuncture points, the bladder meridian, the conception, the governing vessel, the liver, the spleen, the kidney, I mean, the stomach, you're going to get all of it, which is a really great technique to do. So, so thank you, Gary Craig, for developing this and for showing us how. I'm just passing it along, folks. So gather your, your pain and you're going to phrase it like this, even though I feel this, or even though I have this pain, even though I'm hurt, even though I'm angry, even though my ankle hurts, even though I have a headache, even though whatever, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Okay, that's the setup. So let's begin. Karate chop point. You ready? Here we go. Even though I have this pain, you name the pain. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I... Don't know where I'm headed in business. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't know where I'm headed in business, you know, pick your own thing. I'm just making something up. Uh, I, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though I don't know what the future holds for my business, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Okay, once you do it three times, that's when you come up to the eyebrow point and you tap seven times. Either side is fine. This pain, this issue, feeling lost my issue, but you need to name what it is. And it can be different words. Uh, feeling lost, unsure about the future, uh, feeling confused, feeling upset under the collarbone, not sure where it's headed, under the arm, not sure where it's going, feeling confused. And then when you do this, you round it up again. Let's do it one more time. Feeling confused, not sure where my business is headed. Not sure where my business is headed. Should I quit? Should I stop what I'm doing? I'm so frustrated. I don't know what else to do. I need answers. I'm really frustrated. What should I do? Okay, when you're done with a few rounds and you stop with, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. So that's how you want to wrap it up. 
Okay, now rate your pain at this point. What level is your pain at? What level is your frustration or confusion at? I need to put my glasses back on because they're readers and I can't really see. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's basically the whole protocol for um, emotional freedom technique. And I've used it for I, over 10 years, at least 12. And when you do this technique daily, now you can do it on an issue when you're not feeling the issue and that does help to mitigate it. But I, I'll tell you the best time that I've found is when I'm deep in it. When I'm so deep in my BS and I don't want to, you know, ugh, and I'm feeling it. And then I'll say, well, it's your choice. I will give you five minutes. I tell myself and I'll set a timer and say, I will give you, um, five minutes to bitch and moan about what I didn't get and how it didn't work. And I'm so frustrated and I want to quit and I blah, blah, you know? So, and then I set the timer when it goes ding, I start tapping, <laughs> You know, it's like, oh, I'm so frustrated, even though I'm so frustrated. And then eventually it just kind of mitigates and it lowers and I'll do a couple of rounds. And then as the advanced level, I'll do what I call the conversation. Oh, Becca says anxiety level went from a five to a one. Thank you. You are rocking it, girl. I love that. Thank you for doing this exercise. You know, and if you haven't listened to any of my previous videos or watched any of my previous videos, because energy is all connected and because our neurons are firing electricity all the time, they fire what you tell it to. So if your anxiety is lower, now you replace it with something positive, right? Some more peace, some more compassion, some, some creativity, some happiness, some, you know, let's go bake bread and share it with the neighbors, you know, whatever it is. When you put that love into the world, I feel it. Everybody feels it because all energy is connected. So thank you for doing this, this exercise. It really does work. Okay, so I'll be back on Friday. Oh, oh, before I do that, um, I was going to tell you about the advance in case you were just joining us. Ah, what does Sasha say? It gave me crazy goosebumps. I can feel the electric wave change with me. Amazing. Yes, yes. When I first started doing it, I would feel like, my spine was, you know, I felt all this stuff snaking all over me. And I thought, oh, my Kundalini's opening. Oh, this is great energy. Thank you, Gary Craig, for this, this technique. And some people don't like, like our daughter does not like tapping on the body. It bothers her. So if you're someone who's highly sensitive, or if you know of someone that this would benefit, but they don't like to be touched like that, what you can do is apply pressure. So it is still the, the karate point chop on the side, you know, while you're stating your issues, but you can do it hard once, hard twice, hard, and just hold the point and then do the same thing. One tap, one tap, one tap, one tap, because it's also the intention that works the energy. And the advanced level of this, what I call the conversation, I just started distilling it down to having an entire conversation with the beginning of the, the setup and the protocol, even though, you know, I'm going through this thing and I'm not sure what it's going to, what's going to happen. I'm still, I'm not giving up. I, you know, I've put in way too much. Oh, here's something I used to say when I was battling my body issues. And I was a, I used to be a, a, a chronic dieter because I had this perception that was not true about my body. And now I love my body and I'm still wanting to drop 15 pounds, but I'm working it. I'm eating well. I cherish my body. I take care of my body. You know, I didn't have the issues I did 20, uh, 10, 10 years ago and 20 years ago. So what I will do now when I'm working on EFT and I have the conversation, um, I'm sorry, what I did then when I was working on EFT was I would just have a conversation. It was a bitch session. I would say, you know, everything I try, it doesn't work. And I'm giving up. I hate this. I hate my body. I hate this crap. I hate this stuff. I hate dieting. I hate, you know, calorie counting. I, and I just went off and I blah, 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 blah. And I would just do it. But I would end with, you know, it started with even though I'd blah, blah, blah. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. And I would just keep going in an entire conversation as if I were Gollum you know, oh, them hobbitses, <laughs> they're tricksy. No, master is my friend, you know. So I would have this like psycho conversation and just keep going. And then after about three minutes, I would go for the points. And what I found was 
And I would do this while I was walking on the trail with our dog, Coda. And I found that after a while, I started to have such an appreciation for the ability to heal. I mean, that's where it took me. It wasn't even about dieting anymore. It wasn't even about hurry up, lose the weight. I feel so fat. You know, it, it moved it out of that into, oh my gosh, I have a conscious awareness that can do any technique to help me move from one place to another. And that's what getting your mojo is all about, folks. Okay, so yay, I'm glad you were with me today. Please come back. I'll be back on Friday, uh, August 31st, the end of the month. I can't believe it already. We're already in the sign of Virgo. So we're going to be very detailed. We're going to be very particular without being nitpicky. And we're going to talk about setting up a structure for the next month in your business and with career, with health. We're going to be talking a little bit about Saturn And again, the planets don't do anything to you. It's our cooperation. But I want to help you set a structure for what's coming up when Saturn moves into direct motion on September 6th. Uh, We're going to be looking at how do you want to move forward? It's going to feel like suddenly, you know, you're, you know, you're on a train, chugga, 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 chugga. And then when it crests and it comes down the hill, you're going (laughs) to, you're going to feel that, that push. So where do you want that push to take you? That's what we're going to talk about on Friday, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern, right here live. And I will see you then. Thank you for being, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing these uh, comments with you, with me. What time Friday? It is 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. I will be back and we will be um, working more on getting our mojo back. Okay, great. Be sparkly, be wonderful and share this video with someone who could benefit. Thank you for being here. Have a beautiful day.